Music legend Aretha Franklin has died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 76. For more than five decades, Franklin's voice belted out songs all over the world, including right here in Siouxland. That's our top story this afternoon. The Queen of Soul passing away at her Detroit home, surrounded by family and friends today. Franklin had quite the career, that's for sure. She had 44 Grammy nominations, 18 times taking home a trophy. She performed at the inauguration of three different presidents. Franklin also performed right here in Sioux City. Just three years ago, she was the headliner for the 25th Saturday in the Park. Justin Kaiser played with Franklin on the stage that night and says it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience he remembers. And I remember Aretha was very warm, like there's a place that we all hung out and got food, and she was right there with us and was very warm and thankful to everyone and just very, very cool and a very good person. You could just tell that. The Saturday in the Park performance was Franklin's last in Iowa and in the last dozen or so in her life. Saturday in the Park's Dave Bernstein says that Franklin's performance will always be a special one. Today, thinking back on that, it was really, really special to have her. I, you know, I still, every, every so often, uh, people come up and say, I can't believe you had Aretha Franklin play Saturday in the Park. So it's something we're real proud to um, have been part of. And to see more on Aretha Franklin's life, make sure to be with us tonight. ABC with a special news presentation airing a one-hour uh, documentary look at the Queen of Soul. That's tonight at 7. You can watch it, of course, right here on KCAU 9.